Hello guys and welcome to my preview of this of the 2016 Malaysian Grand Prix. The background is F1 2012 gameplay in Malaysia. Although in 2012 and nearly all seasons, Malaysia has been at the start of the season, but now it's more towards the climax of the season. So ho hopefully more people will care about it this year. We'll see a great race. I think it used to be towards the end of the season, but in my memory since our 2008, it's always begin, been at the start. Anyway, going back to last year, shock result, Vettel won the 2015 Malaysian Grand Prix with Mercedes messing up strategy mainly. Shame we messed up the strategy because everyone got so excited for that season and then, yeah, Ferrari didn't do too much after that, apart from two other wins. But anyway, going into this race, Nico Rosberg has the momentum over Lewis Hamilton. And I'm sad to say that as a Hamilton fan, but what can I do? And even though I'd love Hamilton to win, I'd be surprised if he wins. And I think Rosberg is probably going to win this time. My prediction for Singapore was pretty close. I said Ricardo was going to win. He was only one lap away. Whatever. But yeah, as I said, for Malaysia 2016, I think Rosberg will win. And Hamilton will come second. It's a good track for overtaking wide track, long straights, so even if Hamilton has another bad start, he should be able to come back to second, but I think Rosberg has got momentum, he'll get pole position, and he'll win this race. <coughs> so Rosberg first, Hamilton second, and then after that, I think it'll be actually a close race between Ferrari and Red Bull, but I think Ricardo's going to come third. See if he can if he's gonna drink the champagne out of his shoe again. It's funny when he does that. Shame people in this country might I'll have to get up early to see it. 8 a.m. start on Sunday. But yeah, Ricardo third. And then I'll probably go for Sebastian Vettel to be fourth. And then Verstappen fifth. Raikkonen and sixth, maybe a good ding dong battle between them. That's always good to watch. I like Verstappen actually. I know everyone is critical of him, but I'll, at least it's exciting to watch. But he might cause an accident one day, which maybe we won't like him so much. Bit like having Maldonado back in the sport. <coughs> anyway, so I've said the top six. Anyway, well, I think McLaren will struggle this weekend. You know, long straights and everything. I know they're getting better, but I think then the rest of the top ten will be. Cindy and Williams dominated, continuing with a battle in the construction championship for four, yeah, fourth place. I, I like Massa as a driver, and I, so therefore I'd hope Williams can beat Force India, but I don't mind too much. But anyway, then I think for this race, anyway, Massa will come sixth, and then Bottas. No, I said sixth. Fine. Maz will come 7th, Bottas will come 8th, and Perez 9th, and then Hulkenberg, I, I don't think Hulkenberg will make top 10, I think he's so overrated, just as he's won Le Mans. I know it's a big race, but in F1, I don't think he's quite up there with Perez, even. And m maybe somebody like Daniel Kvyat, or... Carlos Sainz will round up the top 10. And there's not a race for Manor to get into the top 10. Quite a lot of downfall, especially in in the middle sector. But hopefully it'll go well. Hopefully it'll be exciting racing. Also, the big question for Malaysia always is the weather. If you remember 2009, the race had to be abandoned halfway through because of a monsoon. I'm not really, I'm not good at geography, so I can't tell you. I'm not really sure what it will be this weekend, and if the change in calendar will affect the race in terms of weather. But I'm guessing all of my predictions could go out the window if it's raining, and if it's a wet race, then maybe it's more Hamilton victory chance because Rosberg seems to struggle in the rain for whatever reason. And you know, a wet race would be exciting. But I think, if, as I said before, if it's a dry race, Rosberg's going to win, and that that would be it. I also, if it's a wet race, Button and Alonso might be able to get up there, you know. 
be nice if Button had run one more really good race and in the wet this could be his chance to do it because that is his skill anyway I think we're coming to the end of the video now you can like subscribe comment tell me what you think will happen in this race hope you enjoy it and I hope and I'll see you very very soon